So you know what social media is full of? Experts. Experts who are sharing their advice of telling you how to put on makeup, how to fix your hair, how to repair your home. Um, um, seen a guy who is evidently an expert in pool noodles and he shows you like tons of ways to use pool noodles. Hi, I'm Shauna. My husband Pete and I are Golly Family Discipleship. We're both ordained ministers with the Church of God and we just invite you into our home and come and study the Bible with us. We are on the book of Jude. It's that one chapter letter and uh, we're on verses 8 through 10. I'm going to read those and then we'll get started with the discussion. And it says, In the very same way these dreamers pollute their own bodies, reject authority and slander so beings, but even the archangel Gabriel, when he was disputing the devil about the body of Moses, did not dare to bring a slanderous accusation against him, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Yet these men speak abusively against whatever they do not understand and what things they do understand by instinct, like unreasoning animals. These are the very things they destroy that destroy them. So we have Jude uh, talking about. Um, we discussed yesterday that um, reminding us about the past, uh, the scripture talked about different things uh, such as Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, remembering our past so that we wouldn't uh, make mistakes like we did before. And that's always good for us. Make sure that we're learning from our past, learning from our history, and uh, not falling into those same traps, those traps of manipulation and deceit that Satan has for us. Um, but uh, holding on steadfast to the wisdom that God is delivering to us in our lives uh, because he loves us and he cares for us and he doesn't want to see us destroyed or walk down a path of destruction. Um, you know, uh, like I said in the opening, um, social media is full of expert advice. These DIY uh, things, uh, people and these um, experts who are giving us some free information, uh, which I'm very thankful for. But something that I've noticed is there are there are so many people who are keyboard warriors who are saying, hmm, um, I know you think you might be an expert, but you did that all wrong or why did you do that that way? Or that looks stupid, or I can't believe you have that many followers. And there are people that are out there that are trying to uh, be something that they're not, uh, which is an expert in their field. And if you read the blog today, um, I've never played sports, so um, I know nothing about sports. So if I try to tell you how to play something, I that would just come off simply as a fool because I have no knowledge of those things. Uh, Pete, on the other hand, played all sports, seems to, and um, he is pretty wise in things, but even he uh, will tell you that he's never coached anybody, so he doesn't know what it is to be a coach. He has an idea of what it means to be a coach, but there are so many in small towns, uh, USA, these armchair quarterbacks who uh, like to really um, dig into these uh, coaches, travel ball coaches, uh, middle school coaches, high school coaches, and just uh, why did that coach do that? Why did that coach make that decision? I'll tell you what they need to do. They need to get rid of him. They get, need to get rid of her. And uh, at least that's the way it is here. Um, I don't want to misrepresent anyone, but I've heard it myself. You know, I've been um, in the uh, uh, you know, in the presence of people who are talking about these things and only come to find out that they never even played the sport. Not, not even that they hadn't coached the sport. They haven't even played the sport. But you find that um, Jude is saying, look, you have these people who are uh, getting all caught up in their emotions. They're uh, talking about something they have no idea about. They are uh, disrespecting um, authority and they are trying to uh, trying to put themselves in a place where they never have been um, and you just can't trust them they need to be careful look even the archangel Michael didn't disrespect the devil because he was an archangel uh, he said the Lord rebuke you right he used the highest authority that uh, we have even as Christians the Lord uh, he is on our side we should be on his side um, I just want you to know that that God loves you and he cares for you and that um, 
every day we need to make that decision to be disciples of Christ, that we're going to enrich our lives uh, with the Word of God, to, you know, to exalt God, to encounter God, to edify ourselves by reading the Word of God, engage this world for Jesus Christ. Uh, don't be deceived. And, um, you know, look, let's not exalt ourselves to somewhere that we uh, never, never have been. Let's not be... Um, Let's not be um, haughty and puffed up. Let's be humble and gracious. Uh, let's be the church that uh, people are drawn to and the church that is wise in our authority, the church that is um, humble in our authority. And uh, let's watch God move in every way. So until next time, God bless.